Paul's on teams. Paul told me everybody works in teams for the solution for your customers. Has anybody ever been on a team where all of a sudden you realized a key member of that team was focused on the wrong thing? They were focused on who gets credit for what so that they can get promoted. Can you believe that? American Corporation, somebody's trying to get promoted. <laughs> they should be focused on the quality, the value, and the price performance the team brings to the solution. You've got to get that team member back focused on the right thing at the right time in the right order. Remember back when we hit that jet wash? We had just, we were out of control, we are flailing around, the nose of the airplane's going up and down, we're going from left to right, we get it under control, the two fire lights come on, the fire lights are one of the worst emergencies a flight crew can see. I say to that boom operator, my teammate, Steve Stuckey, I say, say Steve, how about running on back there, scan that left wing, <laughs> see how bad those fires are? One about five seconds, Steve comes back with the six words, as long as I live, the six words I'll never forget. They're not on fire, they're gone. The engines had departed the airplane. What does that mean? Your presentation isn't ready at the print shop. You're on the way to an important customer call. You're stuck in a traffic jam. You've scheduled three interviews all at the same time. Your calendar's all confused. You hear there's competition calling on your best customer. You call your customer executive. They won't call you back. Your division's just been sold. You're not sure if you have a job. As bad as all those are, that is worse. This airplane's not designed to fly the hour and 15 minutes it's going to take to get to a landing base. I've never been so petrified in my life. We've lost half our thrust, most of our electrical power, most of our hydraulic power, some controllability of the airplane. Some aircraft systems can't be recovered. There's no procedures in the flight manual to cover such a situation. Have you ever wished that HR manual told you what to do and it didn't? Our team is going to have to recover this airplane to some degree on our own knowledge and experience. We've got zero room for air. We're going to have to be Six Sigma. No, we're going to have to be better than Six Sigma. Six Sigma allows you for a mistake. We start fighting it, living. 30 seconds at a time, going through this procedure, that procedure, holding on. We've got to live through 150 30 second intervals, 75 minute intervals, checking this, checking this, holding it on, holding on, trying to keep it going. We get back close to the field, and Steve Stuckey comes in. To say to Steve, Steve, we're going to have to lower the landing gear manually. You're going to have to do it. How long is it going to take? Steve said, seven minutes. I said, well, Steve, we're only going to have three or four. Can you do it? Now at that time, Steve could go, hey, the book says I get seven minutes. Give me some help. I need time. I'm going to whine. Would you be one of those that whined? 
Or are you the Steve Stuckey teammate that says, I'll get him down, and he did. And when Steve got him down, I remember giving the other pilot the thumbs up, because now I knew that we had a chance to make it. We had a chance to survive. You start to pick up the runway. You've got to hold it together. Get her on down. You can't lose it now. We're getting there. But all the work we've done this year, this quarter, won't count if we don't close. We've got to hold on to close it. Close it. Hold on. Get it there. Get it there. Fight it, baby. Hold on. Keep it steady. Hold on. Yes. We got it down. Now, our team had just landed a KC-135 that since the introduction of the Air Force inventory had never before been landed in such a damaged condition. And in the words of General George Lee Butler, who at the time was the Commander-in-Chief of the Strategic Air Command, General Butler said, congratulations for having performed so admirably in a situation that no other KC-135 crew on record has ever experienced. The loss of two engines, the physical loss, is unique in the history of that airplane. And as I slid down, that escape room, the last one off, and looked 200 yards left of the nose of the airplane where our team agreed to meet, I saw my team jumping up and down, hugging each other. My legs turned to butter. My knees started to collapse. I don't know how, but somehow I made it to my team. We laughed, we cried, but most of all, we know what a real team is now. A team will cover everybody's backside. A team will be the ones you want to go into battle with. Preparation, passion, focus, team, confidence. Those words are not to be taken lightly. They can save your life, they can save mine. They can save your marriage, they can enhance your job. I wish, as an adolescent, I'd listen to my mother more closely. My mother always used to say, Pay the price and you'll be rewarded. I wish I would have listened. I challenge all of you to take those five principles, put them in your life, personally and professionally. They'll make a difference. Preparation, passion, focus, team, confidence. And as I say to my team, every February the 6th, when I call them, today is a great day to be alive. Live for your passion. Thanks for your time.